ukiyo-e is a genre of Japanese art which flourished from the 17th through 19th centuries. Artists from this genre created woodblock prints and paintings that chose female beauties, kabuki actors and sumo wrestlers, scenes from history and folk tales, some flora, fauna, travel scenes and landscapes. The term okeoe translates as pictures of the floating world. In today's video, we are going to generate okeoe art using Playground AI. Generating this type of art is fairly simple. Just type the following on the prompt box. Okeoe art style followed by the things you wanted to have on the final image. For our first set of photos, we are going to make a portrait of Dorian Gray. For this example, I will be using the delicate detail filter. I'll use more filters later on in this video. So today's session is going to be private. Set the amount of images to 4. We will be using the Euler Ancestral Sampler. Keep the seed at random. Set the quality at 50. And then set the guidance at 10. Make sure that your dimensions are set at 512 by 768. Now over to the left, activate remove from image and type the following. Incomplete, missing, and blurry. Once they're all set, hit generate and here are the results. As you can see, the AI is able to give us results that serves both the art style and the subject. Now if you wanted a high quality download, simply click this plus button and click the upscale by 4k option. Now just wait for it to finish upscaling and a download button will appear. Up next, I will keep the same prompts but change the filter to Polaroid. Please keep in mind that changing the filter on Playground AI will result differently from your previous photos. The next filter I will be using would be the Retro Futurism filter. This time, I will change the prompt to generate an image of a deer in the middle of a lush forest. I will also change the image dimensions to create square images. As you can see here, the AI is allowing us to see the art, including with the Retro Futurism filter. See, here's another version and another one. Now this one is one of the best results with this one and this one comes second. So we're going to download all of these and now it's time to change to another filter. I'm going to go with delicate detail and we're going to be a little bit more specific. So we will say landscape of Tokyo during sunset futuristic city neon. Then hit generate. Oh wait. Before we do that, change the image dimensions to 768 by 512, hit generate. Now here's a finer results. As you can see, this is representing of Japan on a sunset. Wow, that's really nice fear right there. Here's another one. And here's, wow, I really like this one as well as this. Once again, if you wanted to upscale, just click actions. Upscale by four times. You can also kind of see the image become clearer as this loading bar goes up. Now hit download that and I'll be doing the same to the other three. So. so after you've downloaded that, we will switch to another one. Let's go back to portrait dimensions. So 512 by 768. Make sure you're still in Euler Ancestral because sometimes when you switch filters, some of these settings gets changed. Now let's think of something else. Um, okay, Since we're going for portrait, let's try. Okay, so we're going with a portrait of Robocop fighting bad guys, Detroit Police Department. And so for you using keyboards, just hit control and enter. As you can see, the AI knows exactly what we're talking about, although the, the hands there are, the hands become guns and he has extra guns. Here's another one. Although I maybe should have changed something from remove from image because it completely cuts off his head. Here's another version. It looks more like Boba Fett. And another one here. As you can see, it's easy to create such characters when you know exactly what type of art style you wanted to have on your image. Okay, let's download all of this. 
Now let's change once again, one more. I have one more to try. Okay, let's try a final one here. So we're gonna go with retro anime. Now we're gonna go with John Wick fighting bad guys holding a gun. This destruction on his background. Hit generate. As you can see, this is a really accurate John Wick Ukiyo-e art style. Upscale this to 4K. Here's another. JD this is like a really nice poster of him. Another one here. I really like this. This is nice. Now this one is the best. Although I didn't like that um, it was cut off here. So there you go. Just play around with your prompts, with your remove from image. It really depends on what you want on the right side here. As long as you know what you want to have on your prompts and remove from image, I'm pretty sure you're going to have a really good results. That's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I will leave all of these images on a Google Drive. You can check out the link down below on the description box. Thank you again for watching. Hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next video.